Hello, this is Shrikant Chavade from Rice Engineering College, Amravati. I am the Faculty of Electronics and Telecommunication Department. So I am here for the TED Talk on Robotics. So I am giving the TED Talk on Firebird 5 which is given by the IIT Bombay uh, under the competition under the lab called as Eandra Lab. So Eandra is nothing but the initiative taken by IIT Bombay and the uh, MHRD in association for making the people, making the people of uh, engineering colleges, making the students of engineering colleges aware about the robotics. So the motto is what? To make the faculty aware, to make the faculty educate first and through them the students can be easily educated about the robotics. So that's the main motto of the IIT Bombay and the MHRD. Therefore, in the month of December 2015, the IIT Bombay and MHRD organized a workshop of Iyandra competition, Iyandra basic uh, uh, workshop at Nagpur, GHRC. So, the uh, college appointed four uh, members as a team from Amravati. Uh, so, myself, Shrikant Savate, then Professor Akshay Guru, Professor Shrikant Munade, and Professor Amol Velkar was the uh, team uh, who participated in the competition in the workshop at Nagpur. So, then uh, we participated for the robotics competition, which is Iyandra. Under that, we have assigned this with several tasks. And after fulfillment, after a successful completion of the task, we were awarded with the lab uh, of Iyandra in our institute at Amravati. So under that, uh, the IIT Bombay provided us various robots and accessories for that. So this is what the robot, which is the Firebird 5. There are various versions of the Firebird and this is the Firebird 5 robot that we have. And uh, this is a robot which works on the microcontroller. It is Atomega 2560. And uh, Atomega is a microcontroller from, from Atomail which is having 100 pins and various facilities, various ports on them. So the robot is fabricated with a very fine design. It is having uh, an acrylic uh, material, uh, fine waves and all that. So this robot can be used for performing various tasks. So for that purpose, uh, we have to design a code, we have to write a code and then that code is to be dumped into this robo. So for that, uh, we are having two softwares. It is at, uh, Atmega software, uh, sorry, it is Atmel software, Atmel tool we can have uh, AVR uh, 4.0, AVR Studio 4.0 and the AVR bootloader. For writing a code, we will use the AVR Studio software. Into that we can write a code and then through that we can generate a hex file. That hex file is to be dumped into this robo with the help of AVR bootloader software. So that softwares are very finely compatible with the versions of Windows. The XP can be used, 7 can be used, then Windows 10 can be used. So it is very finely, very simply compatible with all the versions of the Windows. And uh, under that we can have many tasks. We can perform many tasks. The robot can perform uh, an obstacle detection. The robot can be used for following the white line. The robot robo can be used for the communication. The robot can be used for uh, various hardware tasks so that uh, an arm assembly can be also mounted with that. So various uh, facilities are also given on this robot. And uh, for that, uh, the, we are making the student aware. We have got the lab. Uh, from in the month of uh, September 2016 and the lab was inaugurated by the IIT people and then we have started working on this and then uh, we have taken several workshops on uh, with the faculties and uh, for the students also. So students started working on this and they have taken their academic project on this robo. They are performing several uh, tasks on this and uh, uh, which is uh, very possible with this uh, robo and uh, they are trying to make some hardware movement, they are trying to uh, follow some task uh, with the help of this robo. So uh, it is not actually the part of the curriculum but uh, by selecting the project for the final year, they are making this as a part of curriculum. It is very good thing and I am very thankful for the management uh, and uh, all the authorities of this institute for uh, getting the sanctioning for this lab and now we are having the lab and it is very beneficial lab, it is very good lab, it is very uh, fulfilled lab for the robotics as concerned. At the same time we got the uh, spark robot with this and various accessories which are useful for this are also uh, 
uh, given by the IIT team. The next robotic is, is a company through which we are getting this particular accessories and all the material. Uh, so finally, I am very thankful again to the management for having this lab with us. Thank you very much.